it's a great pleasure to be part of the Technology Pioneers. It's uh, with the World Economic Forum. is one of the most well-known and respected organizations. Um, its mission to improve the world is uh, very respectable, so it's great to be part of this uh, elite group. What really makes it so special is that today we're undergoing a revolution in data. Data is changing everything and is really determining how we understand the world. To give you a couple of examples, um, until in the past, uh, let's say, let's take someone like the, an astronomer for example, they would really use optical means to understand the universe. But today, all our knowledge about the universe and the world goes through analyzing vast amounts of data that is collected by sensors that are looking out there in the space. To go to an example on the business side, uh, marketing and marketeers, uh, until a few years ago, would market product to consumers just by, based on intuition and their understanding of the market. Today, marketing is an increasingly data-driven process, and especially with the evolution of internet and mobile and all these new devices, collecting digital information and marketing based on digital information, which is what we say digital marketing, is increasingly important. So the world is undergoing a transformation around data and analytics and Astra Data is at the center of this revolution because our software and our hardware products allow our customers to collect unprecedented amounts of data and to analyze it and mine it very, very deeply to be more competitive, to do better business or to better understand our world. You need four things to have an environment that encourages entrepreneurship. The first is a culture of risk taking and the legal framework that encourages that. The second thing is monetary capital because starting new businesses is expensive up front. The third thing which you could argue is maybe the most important is human capital. If you're building technology products you need technical talent and you need management talent to get all this talent to work together. And finally you need a market that is big enough so that new companies can go sell the products, grow quickly and be successful. If you take these four uh, elements, obviously the United States has an advantage today. It, it is a risk-taking culture by nature. Historically, the U.S. has been a country of entrepreneurs. It has the highest amount of venture capital. It has great universities that produce a lot of talent and more importantly, attracts talent from all over the world that come here to, to start companies. And finally, it's one of the biggest uh, markets that is truly unified. So that makes it easier for new companies to sell the products and be successful. Now, that being said, there are a lot of emerging markets that have the potential to be hubs for entrepreneurship. Asia is growing very quickly and already countries like India and China have started to attract entrepreneurship, venture funding and people to start companies. And also Europe has a lot of talent and it also needs to find its way to growth again, long-term growth, and that goes through entrepreneurship. So I do expect uh, both the governments and the citizens of these uh, countries to be increasingly aggressive about creating the right environment and opportunities for entrepreneurs to start businesses. An innovator is someone that creates and thinks of new products, new ideas, and that's adds it mainly comes down to creativity and intelligence. Um, but that being said, a very close concept to an innovator is an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur takes ideas and makes them product, they makes them something that can have a real impact to society. And being an entrepreneur goes beyond just being an innovator. You need to have determination, you need to have a will to succeed, and you need to be able to sustain a lot of risk, a lot of pain, because by definition being a pioneer involves a lot of risk and is very difficult. In the past two centuries, there have been a number of key innovations that have driven this technology revolution. Things like mechanization, the steam engine, electricity, the transistor have really transformed the way we live today and how, our, how we think about our prosperity. However, in recent days, a lot of these key innovations 
have run out of steam and people are looking for the next big thing. And I truly believe that data and analytics can be an innovation that can stand right there next to things like the internal combustion engine or electricity. As such, Terra Did Aster is at the center of this revolution and has the potential to transform the world and to use data and analytics, take them to the next level and accelerate scientific discoveries, accelerate competitiveness for businesses, accelerate profits and really accelerate the standard of living for the whole world.